Hey guys, it's John P from GeekBeat, and today it is Manfrotto Unboxing Day. Okay guys, as you can imagine, I'm pretty excited. As you can see, we have a whole table full of goodies from Manfrotto. They're so awesome. Of course, we have long used Manfrotto for everything from light stands to camera arms. When you look around our studio, it's like Manfrotto everywhere. Even these little friction arms that we mount the cameras on, it's, it's all Manfrotto. And so our friends over at Manfrotto actually sent us some new goodies to replace some of our aging equipment. And we're so excited about it. So we're gonna take a look at these brand new LED lights. These are one by one light panels. They're actually called the one by one F. It's a Spectra series of lights. We've also got, we've got five of these one by one lights. We've got five stands for them. We have some new tripods here, but we're going to take a look at those in another video because they're kind of a different thing. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to unbox these, see what they look like, check out the features, stick them on a stand, plug them in and see what happens. So this is truly the first time I've ever seen these LEDs. Um, I'm pretty excited about them because Everything Manfrotto does is high quality. So uh, we'll take a look at how these come out of the package here. So first thing I noticed, there's a couple of small boxes here on the top. Let's see what we have here. We've got uh, multiple power cables. So it looks like we've got US and uh, European power, whatever you need in case you travel around a lot. And over here we have the power brick. So that is what we're going to use to light these bad boys up here in a second. Okay. I'm going to leave that ready for us right there. Now we're going to, I noticed there's a little stalk right here. I can just grab this and pull it out. It is unbelievably light. The very first thing I noticed, it is practically weightless. It feels like the foam must be half the weight, at least. It's, it's really, really light. So let me take these out. We'll save those for later. And always, you know, we always try and protect this kind of packing foam just in case you needed to send something somewhere, whatever. So keep all your goodies there like that. And here we go with the light. It is really super light. Wow. Oh, I can't wait to show you this, but we'll get to this in a second. There's something special going on in the back here. Um, it is really, really light. One thing I noticed right off the bat is it's got nice big knobs here for the adjustments. So I like that because uh, they feel solid and they'll be easy to adjust to be able to swing this thing forward and backwards. So the prote protective layer of plastic here, I'm just gonna remove that. It's a really clean and clear looking plastic. Now I notice, if you can look right down in here, there's some little channels right here, and I'm assuming that this is going to take gel inserts so that we can put gels in here and, and provide some color, uh, etc. Now, let me flip it around and show you what I was excited about. I have never seen this before, but if you look right there, that looks suspiciously like it is designed to hold that brick we were talking about. Wow, that is... That is awesome. I've never seen anyone build that into a product like this and every one of them needs it. So the power brick is just gonna plug in right there. That is so fantastic. So it looks like we've got a power switch and I'm guessing this is, yeah, that's our dimmer right there. That's it, it's really super simple. I love how this thing is built in to hold that brick because we usually have to take these bricks and gaffer tape them to this thing. And it's horrible, it doesn't look professional. It's just not a good situation. Okay, I'm gonna set this right here, precariously balancing it on the box. Let's get something professional to hold it. We're gonna take a look at these uh, light stands. This is the 1051 BAC, the mini compact stand from Manfrotto. So let's take a look. 
Now these stands we have long used and I have long loved. This is my favorite stand anywhere in the world because they're actually designed to stack together. So I can't demonstrate it until I open some more, but if you take a look right down here, you'll notice there's a little kind of a hook, if you will. And on the bottom, on the back, there's a little hook. And so what happens is when you have two of them, this piece snaps down into this piece, and at the top, this little latch locks into this hook, and it requires this button to pull them apart. So they literally nest together. You can snap them together and carry them all in one carrying bag. They're fantastic. These stands also have a really, really nice um, little uh, latching mechanism here. You, you notice it's got a spring, a little spring there that provides the friction for going up and down, so it locks in place. But you loosen that up, and then we can very quickly adjust that, tighten it up, and bingo. You'll also notice if you hear that noise, they're air cushioned so that they don't come up and down too fast. And let me just take this little screw cover off of here. And let's put our light on the top. Take a look at it. So the way these work, uh, you've got to unscrew this far enough that the little screw recesses back into there. Then we drop this on here. And when we screw it in, you'll see that that screw comes through and makes contact on that point. And now this is very, very secure. It's going nowhere. So let's just plug it in. There's just one thing left to do now, and that is to see how bright our light is. So we plug it in, and let's uh, turn the dimmer down in theory, and power it on. And here we go. We'll dim it all the way up. That's a pretty bright light. That's looking. Pre that's actually really quite bright. And then if we work the dimmer. We can go almost, let's see, all oh, wow, it's getting really, really dim. Now, a lot of the cheaper LEDs will go to about 10% and then just cut off. You can't, you can, you can see they go from fairly bright to, to off. But here, we can take this way, way down. So it's got very good sensitivity. And it looks like, just judging it from, uh, from my eyes, a pretty clean white light. So that's gonna be nice. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get all the rest of these unboxed. We're gonna set them up in our studio and see how that improves things. So uh, you guys stay tuned. We'll come back to you with more about uh, lighting techniques and things you can do with these Manfrotto's later. So that's it. Thumbs up on YouTube. Uh, any questions, drop them in, in the comments below and I'll get back to you on it. Thanks a lot guys, I'm John P, bye-bye. Sorry about the mess where you can add a little Star Wars with every meal. Once it's time for me and my Note 4 to hit the road, I pop it into my Tilt Energy backpack. The $450 and price tag might just be worth it. Yeah.